In this video, we're going to be fitting some curves or curve fitting. So what that means is we are going to find a quadratic equation whose graph passes through three points. So those three points are negative 1, 3, 1, 1, and 2, 6. So the first thing that we need to kind of remember here is that, right, that's our x and our y, x, y, x, y. So we're going to make these sub 2s and sub 3 depending on where they were, right? So now we're going to set up three equations using those values, and we're going to plug them into our quadratic equation. The x goes where the x is, and y goes where the y is. So for our first equation, we're going to be using our x sub 1 and y sub 1. So that means that we're going to have 3 equals a times negative 1 quantity squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. For our second equation, we're going to have 1 equals a times 1 quantity squared plus b times 1 plus c. And for our third equation, we're going to have 6 equals a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. So from here, we're going to go ahead and kind of simplify this out. So this first equation right here is going to become 3 equals negative a squared minus b plus c. Our second equation is going to be 1 equals a plus b plus c. Um, just really quick, if we come back over this way, we have a small little error right here, because negative 1 squared is just a 1, so this really should just be a. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look at this third equation. So our third equation should be 6 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. Now, we want to use these three equations and solve a system of linear equations with three variables with it. So as we look at this, we have to decide what do we want to get rid of, the a, the b, or the c. Well, the c's look pretty easy because they're all just 1c, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use equation 1 and equation 2 first. So I'm going to use equation, like keep equation 1 as it is. All right, so we're going to have 3 equals a minus b plus c. Now for equation 2, we're going to need to multiply that. So we're going to multiply that by a negative 1, so we can get a negative c. So that is going to give us a negative 1 equals negative a minus b minus c. So now we're going to go ahead and add these together. And that is going to give us a 2 equals, and our a is going to cancel out, which is awesome. Then we have a negative 2b, and our c's cancel out. All right, that's, that's even better. So now we're going to go ahead and solve. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2, and that's going to give us a b value of negative 1. Okay, a b value of negative 1. So that's awesome. So again, we used equation 1 and equation 2. So now we need to do something with equation 3, right? Equation 3. So we're not going to change equation 3. We're going to leave that as it is. So let's see. Let's do that right here. So 6 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. And really, if we take a look at this right here, we can use this to get rid of this c as well. So we're just going to go ahead and take that same equation. Okay, so right now we're using equation 3 and equation 2 again with that negative to give us a negative 1 equals negative a minus b minus c. So again, we'll add these together. And that's going to give us a 5 equals 3a plus b and our C's cancel out. Now at this point, hey, we're in a really good place because we already know what B is. So we can just plug that B right into that spot to get our A value. So we're going to take that equation. So 5 equals 3A plus, and we're going to put in that negative 1 because we're like, hey, we know what B is. So from here, we're going to add 1 to both sides. So we have 6 equals 3a, then we'll divide both sides by 3 and get 2 equals a. So now we have a and we have b, right? We've got both. Because we have both, 
we're now able to plug that in to any one of our equations, any one of our equations. So I actually think that plugging it into equation two looks like that might be one of the easier things to do. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're doing our final little piece. I'm gonna go ahead and use an asterisk right here that we're using the equation one equals a plus b plus c. So in this case, the second equation has been kind of magical for us. So let's plug in what we've got. We know what a is. We know that a is two. And we know that b is negative one. So we're really just looking for our c value right there. Okay, so we have one equals one plus c. So we'll subtract one from both sides and get zero equals c. So now we have our A, our B, and our C. So when we go to write our equation, because remember, we're trying to write our equation, our, our quadratic equation right there. So let's plug in the values we have for A, B, and C. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room. All right, so here we go. So Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. All right, so to be to be clear, so we remember like where we were at, right? So this is our A, this is our B, and this is our C, right? So we have our A, our B, and our C, and we plug those in. So that gives us y equals 2x squared minus x. And we've now written our equation. So this equation right here, is our quadratic equation that goes through the points negative 1, 3, 1, 1, and 2, 6. And we're finished.